one of the things obviously um that that's has happened in in wrestling in the last you know just a couple of weeks obviously you know ring of honor uh, dropping all the contracted guys pretty much wwe made another round of cuts 18 people and so you're in a situation um I mean, I mean, from from a budgetary standpoint, from a working standpoint, from a television time standpoint, um, how many? I mean, I, I know, I know, like if somebody if, if somebody you want is out there, you're going to try to get them no matter what. Like if you don't have like a number, like it's like we're going to have this number of people on contract and nobody more because, but but they're you know one of the things is is that you don't cut anyone or rarely, um, and. There are a lot of very, you know, very good, ta- great talent out there right now um, that or will be out. It will be available in whatever it is, 90 days, 60 days, you know, in January, whatever. Um, I mean, do you have any I, like idea of like how many people you can go after and how many people you want to go after and just kind of how you're going to take, you know, I know you're not going to mention like specific names, but just kind of like as a general overview of what let's say January looks like and the budget and everything going forward, what you're kind of like looking at for the new year? Well, it's a great question. There's a quote I gave on it earlier this week on a similar subject. Uh, I think there were 18 people released in this wave and there have been a number of cuts where each quarter it feels like, you know, maybe they cut 20 people on average and I think in each wave, there's been a few people that were really helpful to AEW and have been very additive. And that goes back to last year, too, during the pandemic when people were getting fired from WWE. And I thought that last summer, we really strengthened the company with a lot of the people that got cut. And now we're in a stronger position because of those people. And again, this year, we've strengthened the company. And I'm really excited about Andrade El Idolo and Malachi Black making their pay-per-view debut as a team. And they're people that were let go. We're very fortunate to have. Last year, Ty Conti got let go. She's wrestling for the world title, and she's one of the most improved, one of the most interesting young wrestlers in the world right now. Fans uh, gravitate towards Ty Conti. She has got everything it takes, and she's a great athlete. She has a tremendous real sport background is judo black belt. And uh, I think she's got so much charisma and I've been a fan of ties for years and she's really helped us strengthen our company. And now she's wrestling for the world title and FTR are arguably the greatest tag team in the world. I think they're one of the greatest tag teams ever. We were really fortunate to get them last year and now they're wrestling again tomorrow at full gear on pay-per-view for the world title. And they've been the world champions and, and they're top wrestlers here. And so many people have come over uh, in the past couple of years that way. And I think, again, there's going to be more people let go and there's been people let go recently. And I'm really sorry uh, to hear that. I think it's terrible. And for so many people to lose their jobs in one day is, is tragic. And I can say, at least in a few cases, there's a few people, as with each of these cuts, that are pretty interesting to AEW and I think can make us uh, an even stronger company in 2022. Uh, We're really benefiting for the full gear card. I think with a lot of the people we've signed in the past year plus, and I think in 2022, as we look at the move for dynamite from TNT to TBS and increasing our programming, adding the battle of the belts, I think it will be more and more, uh, that will really this, have this pay off for us that there's great free agent talent out there. When you bring a battle of the belts, um, is there a time frame on that? Because um, as far as like the length of time that you, those shows are going to be, or is that still to, to be determined? Uh, it's to be determined on that. Uh, but it is highly likely, I think, that they're going to be one hour specials. Uh, Uh on Saturday nights, and I'll have uh, an announcement about them on Full Gear. Oh, so you're going to do that. And and then the other thing I heard that you mentioned earlier in the week that you'll probably be talking about after Full Gear is this, the Owen Hart tournament. Um, 
So yeah. is that something for early 2022 or, you know, how, you know, what's, well, what's again, kind of- I was hoping to get to the full gear tournament because I think a lot will be written about the Owen Hart tournament and the way the news cycle works now. I think if I start talking a lot about it now, it will maybe tomorrow have a lot of full gear coverage in some ways supersede it, which is the last thing I'd want. I, I definitely want maximum full gear coverage, but I also want maximum Owen Hart cup coverage and people are going to be surprised what I have to say about the Owen. And I might even say some of it in my scrum after the pay-per-view, because I think a lot of people will be watching that to get the, the info. Um, but I am very excited for it. And I don't think everybody will expect exactly what I have to say about the format. Maybe some people will expect it, but I think it'll be good and well-received. And I'm really excited uh, for it. And it's long overdue for the wrestling fans to have this outlet to, pay tribute to Owen Hart, who's one of the great wrestlers of all time. Hey, if you're a big fan of Wrestling Observer Radio, we got 12,000 episodes of all of our podcasts up at our website, WrestlingObserver.com. If you sign up today, you get access to every single one of them. The 12 to 18 new shows that we do every single week, you can podcast them, listen to them on the road, at work, working out, in the shower, wherever you listen to your podcasts, and also full access to the Wrestling Observer newsletter and archives. So if you love what you hear, head to WrestlingObserver.com, 12,000 audio shows at your fingertips.